thing I have for you to show is uh, something that's kind of unique. I had never seen this before or even heard of this. Um, it is a vinyl record of the story of Willow. This is dialogue and music from the original motion picture soundtrack featuring the voices of Val Kilmer as Mad Mardigan, Willow Davis as Willow, or sorry, Warwick Davis as Willow, Joanne Whaley as Sorsha, Jean Marsh as Queen Bav Morda, and Billy Barty as the High Aldwin. It's got, uh, you know I said, it's got dialogue in it. It's got this, the uh, original score from... Uh, from James Horner, uh, performed by the L London Sympathy Orchestra. It also includes a 16-page full-color souvenir photo book, which sucks. And I'll tell you why it sucks. It's because this is factory sealed. It's from 1988, so this thing is 30 years old, 29 years old, and it's still factory sealed, so there's obviously no way in hell I'm going to open this. But I, I, I want to, I want to, I want to see what the full color book with all the photos in it is, and I want to be able to hear this. So I'm guessing what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to get on YouTube and see if anybody's ripped the audio onto YouTube. But uh, that's, I thought that was really, really cool. I love this movie. It's a great movie. And so I want to thank my boss, Chris, for getting this for me. He found this at a garage sale uh, several years back, and we were talk about, talking vinyl and movies one day, and he, uh, he brought this for me. So I want to say thank you, Chris. You the man. All right, finally we get to what has seemed to be my obsession over these past month, this past month or so. And that is Laserdisc. I keep finding these things. Um, I've pretty much exhausted all the places around here to get them. And so now I'm expanding to half price books in other cities. I've been to every single one here in Fort Worth area. I've been to both of them in Arlington. Uh, there is uh, still some at the Arlington near the Parks Mall that I have not picked up yet. But um, I ventured out to Burleson to the Half Price Books there. I was, uh, unfortunately, I was kind of disappointed in their selection, but I was able to find some. And then I headed back to the, to the one here and pretty much just bought out all the rest of the ones that they had that were cheap, uh, with exception of like the $30 gift sets or collection sets. So anyway, enough blabbing. Let's just show you what we got. Uh, the first one is Vince Vaughn film Swingers. Uh, Vince Vaughn, John Favreau, and Heather Graham. Great movie. Uh, great, great movie. Uh, so funny. Uh, the next one is a movie that I'd never heard of. It's called Little Man Tate. And the reason I picked this one up specifically was, besides the fact that it was only a dollar, I think the first few of these ones were on clearance for like a dollar. But it's got a very unique packaging um, that's not been like any of the other ones that I have. And it opens out like a, uh, a fold out. And the disc sits in like a plastic shell, like a CD. And so that's kind of cool. I thought, you know, that's, that's kind of a neat, uh, a neat way of doing it. Of course, since it's sitting in like a CD shell. The disc itself is kind of smudged up, so whenever I get a laser disc player, I'm gonna have to just clean this really good so I can watch it. But I thought that was kind of a neat little thing. The next one is uh, a movie called Wind. I've never heard of this film. It's about uh, winning the. It's about the American Cup, and it's got Matthew Modine and. Um, uh, Jennifer Grey in it. It's uh, a, a two disc set with three sides on it. And so um, maybe, you know, I'll give it a shot. Someday. The next one I have for you is James Kahn's The Program. I don't think I've ever seen this movie before. I remember, I seem to remember when I was a freshman in high school is when this movie came out. 
And so I was a little too young to, to watch it. Um, but from what my brother says, it's one of the best football movies there is. And so I'm, I'm kind of curious about it. I'm going to see if it's on Netflix and give it a shot. But I just I, I thought that it was, it was kind of a cool little artwork on here. And it was only a buck. So uh, the next one is The Witches of Eastwick. There's the back end of it. Uh, this is uh, the Warner Brothers home video. And so they did theirs a little differently in this first uh this first run of them. And so I've, I've, I've never seen this film before. I know I, and it's, it's sacrilege because it's such a classic, but I've never seen this movie before. I've been told it's really, really good. And um, it's got Jack Nicholson in it. So I already am excited about that because I love the guy. He's awesome. Uh, the next one is uh, Last of the Mohicans. Um, I remember watching this movie in English class, I think, 10th grade English class um, but it's got Daniel Day Lewis in it and he puts everything he is into each role that he does and so he he's always good at it um, so I, I'm, I'm curious about this one uh, again I, I don't remember seeing it but the one time in English class I think we were had just read the book Last of the Mohicans and so we the teacher treated us and let us watch the movie after we went through the went through the book the next one is a really really old old not only movie but a really old laser discs yeah this one is from 1983 and that is war games you can tell this is just a basic case and nothing special about this case at all um CBS Fox. It still has a sales sticker on it for where it, somebody was selling it for $17.50. I picked it up for three bucks, I think. Um, I don't remember this movie. Uh, Jonathan says it's really good and he doesn't like Matthew Broderick, but he liked him in this movie. Um, the only older movie I've seen of his is, I think, Project X. I remember seeing it on a flight from when we moved to Alaska. So the next one is The Godfather, part three, final director's cut. There we go. There's the artwork on it. If I remember correctly, this was, okay, no, it was only two discs. Um, very simple artwork. It really is suitable for framing. That's what I love about these laser discs is that the artwork is so incredible because you can have a 12 by 12 space to put the artwork on. Um, as made example by this next one, The Rock. Um, and I granted it's just a floating heads thing and it's, you know, the same as what the videotape was, but just the fact that it's so much bigger and you can get so much more detail in it is just amazing. Um, great film, The Rock. Uh, the next one is Kingpin. This is a really, really, uh, interesting movie, um, I have the Blu-ray of it that's got the extended cut of it of the movie. This is only the um, theatrical version of it. But I saw this movie in the theater in 1997, and I, even then I could tell, man, that's just it's just too funny, and it just gets get funnier and funnier as the older I get. The next one I have for you is Star Trek IV: The Voyage Home. In my opinion, the best of the original. Uh, crew movies. Um, a lot of people say that Rafa Khan is the best one. Um, I personally enjoy this one the best. Um, this was, I think, probably because it was the first one that I remember watching and I didn't understand some of it at the very beginning of it, but now having gone back and watched, you know, Rafa Khan, Search for Spock, that watched that whole, um, basically the whole trilogy that this is the third part of. Um, I understand it now. Um, something about this one is it has a special discount coupon, and I'm not sure if you're going to be able to read that because it's really, really small. But it's got, um, it says, use this $4 coupon towards the purchase of two of the latest Star Trek TV series laser discs. When you purchase this Star Trek IV, the Voyage Home laser disc. Um, this offer expires December 31st, 1987. 
So unfortunately, if I was able to, if I was able to take this plastic off, which I'm not going to, because it's it protects it, I wouldn't even be able to use the coupon. Four dollars off two of them, I'd be able to basically get them for free. But uh, Star Trek IV: The Voyage Home. The final one I have is the one out of this whole collection that I've got um, in this trip that I'm most excited about because I love the artwork so much on it, and. That is Walt Disney's The Three Musketeers. I love this flick. I love this movie. It's so good. Um, this is... I actually had considered doing a review of this, and I may actually still do it. But this movie um, is... When I got into and started noticing that Disney was starting to do a little bit more adult stuff... I mean, it's still rated PG. It's still, um, you know, still a family flick, but it is just a little more risque and a little more adult. And so I'm really excited about that the box is in such good shape. There's, um, you know, a couple of little corner issues, but this is definitely one that would be suitable for framing. And I would actually consider hanging this up on the wall. So I know this one has run, run a little bit longer, and I do apologize. I'm going to edit it down as much as I can. But let's get over the numbers real quick. The overall numbers is now 1965. We got 22 new items. Uh, our Laserdisc numbers jump up to 75. VHS also jumps up to 75. Our Steelbooks jump up to 208. Our New Line Platinum series jumps up to 28. And our super bit is now 15. Thanks for watching. Blessed be. Good night.